This is my Kawasaki Ninja ZX6 Super Sport motorcycle with a 636cc engine. My absolute favorite motorcycle, the best I've ever had. Despite this, the motorcycle doesn't come with a GPS mount. And I needed one for navigation, so I made a GPS mount up that fits and works with this particular make and model of motorcycle. In this video I'll show you what this GPS mount is cobbled together out of, some of its design features, and I'm going to remove it. We'll show you what tools are needed for this removal. I'm going to remove it in its entirety because I don't want it on the bike when I don't need it for navigation. The GPS mount is bolted to the motorcycle solidly right between the gas tank and the steering triple clamp there. This is where it is and it does not interfere with steering. This is hard lock to the right and if you keep your charging cables tidy by tie wiring them together they are not gonna get severed accidentally or interfering with the steering either. So what is it made out of? Boating supplies, electrical components and washing machine parts. So this mounting arm here is a boating supply that was designed to mount a GPS unit to the edge of a boat. This is how the other component looks like that can hold the GPS device. Obviously the back plate here mounts to the mounting arm there. Has a lanyard on it so people can go boating with it. Cost about $35. This is the charging outlet, 12 volt accessory outlet, an all weather variant with a strong stainless steel spring and a sealed door here. There you can see some of this foam or rubberized padding here. It's meant to keep the water out, but water can still get in here through the threaded parts and at the back end here electrical connections are made. So I sloped this outlet, now it's solid, I sloped this whole outlet to slope that way because when the motorcycle is on its side stand any water should get in here from the back end can drain out. These accessory power outlets are, I don't know, $12, something like that, and they are widely available in all kinds of configurations, very straightforward to mount them. This component here that holds the wires, the wires are running inside, is a washing machine, maybe a dishwasher part, and you can see similar components here. I tried different shapes, you get the idea. So this is just fresh, free, so it doesn't have a price tag on it. I guess that makes it priceless. So maybe you can't afford it, I don't know. So that's what the GPS mount looks like and is made up out of. To remove it, I needed to remove, or mount it, I needed to remove a fairing panel here on the side, both sides. They are right here. So both have been removed. Two body panel screws came out and they get removed with this 4mm Allen key or hex key. The motorcycle seat needs to be taken out to connect the accessory outlet to the battery. So the seat mounting bolts 5mm hex key need to be removed and those bolts are accessible through this notch here and they are located there. I'm just going to lift up the seat. The wires that the uh, accessory power outlet comes with needed, needed to be terminated with these electrical uh, eyes, so they are just crimped on. I did the crimping myself. Some wire, extra wire is just wrapped around in this space. So that's the part of the wire that connects to the battery. 
the rest of the wires run here underneath the gas tank that's the air box underneath the air box and you can see the wires coming up there and then they run inside this washing machine hose or dishwasher hose and when the fairing is here it's flush right here so that's what you see you don't see this part of the wiring harness it's concealed there and the fairing panel mounts through that bolt hole there I hope that makes sense so it's all covered up like that let me put you on the tripod and I take apart this bracket actually this steel bracket here is one last part I don't know what it's originally part of it's a stainless steel plate I think I had to drill one hole into it if I remember well and it where did I find it a motorcycle dealership and uh, somebody just had spare parts parts department whatever and uh, nobody remembers what this bracket is uh, originally part of so I can't help you with that the accessory power outlet mounts this way there the wires cannot be disconnected here they need to be disconnected further down here and if I'm not mistaken they just come apart oh no this is threaded oh yes it comes with a fuse I forgot about that this fuse that's important and now the red wire can be pulled out all the way there so that's all there is to it the accessory power outlet actually comes with this little fuse box now fuse holder and uh, I'm gonna connect it back it was I don't know two years ago when I mounted it and the black wire can also be pulled through here coming through I'm just oh I'm standing on it okay obviously a lot easier to remove it uh, than to mount it after two years there's no damage from the heat of the engine here because it's running right next to the air box at this height I hope that makes sense no deterioration nothing melted it's fully functional and then the whole thing can be taken out like this oh I have one more component here for the ground wire what did I do inside here let's have a look see looks like I connected the negative wire here oh yeah I just crimped it together like so really really ugly there so I don't know this if this whole thing is a hack or a bodge I also don't care it just works and so I made this connection here for the ground wire and it's a spade connector like so and this piece of component here is trash I found it I don't know in the street cable technicians use this kind of stuff all the time so that's for the black wire and the wire gauge good question it's good stuff that you brought it up thanks for the tip here is 16 wire gauge you can see number 16 there so that worked fantastically well with my GPS unit well, I see I can't pull all of the wires through that eye when they are coiled up this way all right we'll pull it out this way put the fuse back there yeah, sorry about that so that's how this looks like I really don't want to pull the wires through this washing machine hose because you saw enough okay so that's that component now so this is the bracket I don't know nobody knows what it came out of and nobody knows what originally mounted here but it just happens to work with the threaded part of the 
of the um, accessory power outlet. I think I drilled one hole and that was wrong and then I drilled another one next to it because it was hitting the gas tank or something like that. So this is the bolting supply and lastly we are down to that bolt which needs a five millimeter and a short extension my five millimeter hex key or LN key thereabouts okay I dropped a small component that and that small component came out of the bracket side arm here that square goes into that square recess there and it's kind of important and then this bolt just goes through this uh, hole in the bracket originally this bolt head was not designed for that shape but it works and then put the bolt back where it was and tighten it nothing else needs to be taken apart so that's how it mounts very very straightforward and absolutely inexpensive and I had a really good uh, navigation unit mounted here so that's basically what's involved here thank you very much for watching